What's up, mi gente? Welcome to my channel. So I want to show you how to make my creamy and delicious chicken Alfredo stuff shells. So let's get started. All right, guys. So I'm working here with boneless chicken thighs that I have already cleaned up with some lime and water. I pat it dry and I also added some oil. And I made this small dry rub to season them. If you want to know what to put in them, it's down in the description. So make sure you check it out. And I'm also using boneless chicken thighs because it's not going to dry it up. And even if they do it, the meat is still going to be nice and juicy. But you can definitely use chicken breasts. And as you can see, I left some of the fat in my chicken. But that is totally okay. Fat is good. It's going to give your chicken a nice flavor. So this is what your chicken should look like. You're just going to let it marinate for about 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, you're going to go ahead and heat up your skillet on low medium. And you're going to add some oil and butter. The butter is to prevent the oil from burning. And I'm also using unsalted butter. That's why you see that the butter is like, it's like burn a little bit, but it's not burn. It's just when the unsalted butter melts and it gets nice and hot. That's what it looks like. But it's going to give the chicken a nice golden brown color. So you're just going to let that chicken cook for about five minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to start cooking our pasta. So now that my water is boiling, I added some chicken bouillon. It's just going to give it more flavor. And then you're going to add your jumbo shells and you're going to cook this. I mean, less than what the box says. So back to our chicken chicken after five minutes you're going to go ahead and flip your chicken tights and look at the beautiful golden brown color that it has that is the brown butter and a hot skillet <laughs> so now you're just going to cover this up with the lid a little bit open and you're going to let this cook for about eight to nine minutes you just want this meat to be nice and fully cooked after about eight minutes, you're going to open it up and then I want to show you how beautiful this chicken looks underneath. That color is amazing. That's what you want. You want color. Color is flavor. So now that your chicken is fully cooked, you're going to remove it from your skillet and you're going to set it to the side. Just let it chill for a little bit. Now, those leftover, that leftover oil that I have there, I'm just going to get rid of it because I don't want this on my sauce. But those bits on the bottom, girl, that is what you want. That's extra, extra flavor. So you're just going to go ahead and add your heavy cream, your Parmesan cheese, and also I added some Italian seasoning. And everything is going to be down in the description below. So don't forget to check it out. So now you're just going to uh, mix this up and add some giving this a mix i'm also scraping the bottom of my pan so i can get those bits out i went in and i also added a little bit of mozzarella cheese and the mozzarella cheese just to make it nice and creamy as well so you're just gonna let this come to a boil bring down your flame to medium and you're gonna let this cook for about five minutes until you can coat the back of the spoon just like that now our homemade our fritter is done you're gonna put it to the side and now we're gonna cut our delicious chicken and let me tell you girl este pollo me quedo delicioso you can just put this on a sandwich and have the best chicken sandwich ever but we're just going to go ahead and cut our chicken into small pieces you want to make sure you cut them small because you want to be able to stuff your shells with this so just small little squares and try not to eat it leave some for the shells <laughs> Okay, mi gente, so after cutting your chicken, you're going to start making the filling for the shells. So in a bowl, you're going to combine cream cheese. You're also going to add some spinach. And the um, everything that I'm putting for this is going to be done below with mushrooms and everything. So after adding your spinach, you're going to add your freshly grated mozzarella cheese. And I'm just going to go ahead and grate some Parmesan cheese right in there. And I love to grate my own cheese, guys, because the flavor is going to be better. It's going to melt so nicely. It's just going to be amazing. So make sure you grate your own cheese. <laughs> so after adding your Parmesan cheese, you're going to go ahead and add your juicy chicken. And you see we cut it very small so we can put a good amount of this chicken into our shells. So after adding your chicken, you want to make sure you give this a nice mix. Just make sure you fold everything together. Make sure everything is nice and mixed. And this is what your mix should look like. So at this point, everything is nice and mixed. You want to taste it and adjust it to your liking. I ended up adding a little bit more salt to this, which is a little bit, just like a pinch. 
and then any season that you extra season that you put in here just make sure you mix that in there and our filling is done and now we're going to be get ready to assemble our shells all right guys so make sure you preheat your oven at 375 degrees and then on the bottom of your baking dish you're gonna go ahead and add as much alfredo sauce as you want as you can see i was not satisfied the first time so i just went ahead and added a little bit more and then you just want to spread that around and now you're going to grab your beautiful and perfectly cooked uh, shells and then you're going to grab a spoonful of that delicious filling and you're just going to stuff your shells with it and you see how easy that stuffing just gets in there that's why you want to make sure you cut that chicken nice and small so you can stuff this very nice and you can put as much as you want and this is what your shells should look like. So now you're just going to go ahead and repeat the same process until we run out of everything. Oh Alright guys, so this is what my shells are looking like. So I ended up using two baking dish. So I'm just going to show you this one. And now we are going to go ahead and just finish it up. So we're going to add our homemade Alfredo sauce. And we're going to make sure every shell gets this sauce. And you can add as much as you want. Just make sure everything is nice and covered with this. With your own homemade Alfredo sauce. We just made the Alfredo sauce you see there, girl. We made that. So you don't have to go get this stuff at the store. Just get yourself some heavy cream, some Parmesan cheese, and some seasoning. And you will have the perfect homemade Alfredo sauce. All right, guys. So now we're just going to top it up with some um, freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Also, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese right in there. Make sure you grate your own cheese. It's just, it's going to look better, melt better, and it's going to taste better. And then after adding your cheeses, you're going to add Italian seasoning. And to make it nice and prettier, we're going to add some red pepper flakes on top. And this is what our shells is looking like. You can definitely cover this up and put it in your fridge until you're ready to use it. But if you're ready to bake it, bake this at a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes until your shells look like this. Oh, nice and beautiful and everything is nice and melted. Guys, let me tell you, this stuff shells are amazing. Like I said, I ended up making two baking dish and let me tell you the leftovers they're just gonna taste even better thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe